Okay, this answer to chess miniseries really is like just covering the areas of which type of game is better for actually practicing the answer to chess. It most definitely isn't bullet. It definitely isn't blitz. The shortest game that you can really practice, truly practice, you know, the the answer to chess process, you're talking like a rapid game. Max, a minimum of 10-0 at the that's the most minimum that you're gonna get any value from actually practicing proper answer to chess, where you have a few moments to actually have a look at calculating properly um, and really strategizing and really more enjoying the game. The quicker games such as the Blitz and the Bullet, they don't afford you that ability to be able to calculate um, for any length of time because you're fighting against the clock. If you're wanting to improve your chess, which is the best format for you to actually sit look at the game look at what the opponent's attempting to do look at what you're trying to block off from their attempts at um, squishing you and look at what you potentially can do in terms of attacking when you're playing the quicker games it is more of a what's the word now a reactionary type thing a pattern type of recognition type thing and it's just instantaneous you don't have that time to think it isn't the real answer to chess calculation because you don't genuinely have that time to do that and it really depends on the opponent that you're playing if you're playing somebody who really you know you can beat then you can take all that time to do all those calculations if your opponent is moving slower and um, then you can take that time so be realistic about your own journey when you're looking at your own personal answer to chess and you're looking at However, you're wanting to improve your chess, whether you're following this uh, two foul, road to 2000 thing or whatever it is, and you've watched a few streamers and you've gone, oh, I think I can do that. Um, I will say if you're a normal person, what you have to do is you need to be very careful about who you're playing. You need to choose the right time format for your games. And once you've taken that time to find the right format, then realistically look at your proper calculations, look at where you're going wrong, really do evaluate what you're actually doing, and then from there come back, hopefully a little bit stronger with your own answer to chess process. So you have to be true to yourself when you're actually doing your own journey, your own answer to chess process. You need to look at your own development. So you have to look at the whole picture of things um, when you're looking at these courses and stuff that have been thrown around uh, about chess, you really have to look at your own experience first and you have to look at the basics and th simple things like managing the center or managing around the center needs to, that's a good basic tool to understand within chess. Whereas if you're told straight off, oh, well, don't bother about the center. You want to just do lazy man's chess and do a fianchetto and wait for the opponent to overextend in the center. You're going to come a cropper. You have to learn the basics properly. You can't go straight into advanced chess based on what I have done with my own study within the answer to chess, managing and controlling the center. If you understand the, the makeup of that, process and that strategy and the planning around that then you can step away from it and go right i understand it now i can go and do this fianchetto stuff and just be lazy man and let my opponent manage and control the center any courses that you're sold you want to be looking at the basics not these advanced type of movements and psychologies and strategies basics work you need to start with a good solid basics for yourself not somebody else's basics. Understand what the pieces can do. And from there, look at what how you can get them working together. And from there, you're gonna have your own ideas about what you want to do. Not falling back on what somebody else is telling you to do because they're not playing your game for you. So it all comes back down to the basics. It all comes down to having good, solid planning strategy, your own ideas your own thoughts, your own processes for your own answer to chess. And that way then you can use the courses that you have 
learned and picked up on or been sold. You can use them as a reference, not as your complete Bible. The answer to chess.
Thank you.